Hey everyone, it's Any, aka The Not Trader, back again with another video. This is my pick of the week for March the 4th, 2019. Now, sorry sorry about not uh, launching this yesterday. Um, just didn't have time. But yeah, pick of the week for this week. Now, before I go into my pick of the week, you know what I'm going to ask you to do. Like, subscribe, share, all of that good stuff. I've got Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at The Not Trader on all socials. Remember to like and comment on this video as to what your pick of the week would be. Um, before I go into my pick of the week, I'm going to go through last week's pick of the week and the previous week's pick of the week, which has been Crocs. Now, in the interest of transparency, I have to tell you, I held through earnings and I got burnt big time. <laughs> <coughs> With Crocs, I lost £155 because I held through earnings. I, I was really convinced that it was going to keep rallying upwards and the earnings would be positive and the earnings were positive but it wasn't enough for the stock to keep climbing i think um the market thought the stock was overvalued so so it needed really extraordinary earnings to carry on climbing and it didn't really get that so it broke down uh, upon earnings and it, it's been carrying on falling um i lost 155 pounds on crocs um because obviously when it opened past my stop loss i, I lost more than i and I initially intended to um, to lose with my, with the stop loss that I set, but that's my own fault for um, holding it through earnings. So let that be a lesson to everyone out there. Well, you may want to trade through earnings, but that's not my strategy. I try not to trade through earnings, and I went against my rules, and I got burnt. So learn learning lesson, lesson learnt. Okay, so with that being said, I'm off with Crocs, and I'm onto onto new pastures, new Scorpio. My pick of the week, Scorpio. As you can see straight away, it's a very obvious pattern that is that is formed here. Um, it's got a, a horizontal pattern that's been that's been um, rallying since about October 2018, and it's just been peaking and troughing between the 20 uh, 21 dollars and about 15 dollars for a good couple of months, and um, it looks like it's it's um, it's it's high points have started getting lower. As you can see, the the 180-day simple moving average is falling. So, what does that tell us? As always, the 180-day simple moving average in my strategy means that it just kind of tells you where the price is moving overall. So, um, yeah, so so that means the price is still going down overall because it keeps descending. So that's good for me because if I'm shorting it at its peak, then it, it should it should aggressively start going down if I'm right. But we'll see. Um, on the four-hour chart. Um, I entered, my entry wasn't the best position, I entered at 18.63, if I'd known, if I'd looked into a, a, a smaller time frame, I would have realised that it, this point had been reached three times, can you see, so one, two, and it, it reached that again today, so I, if I could have waited for the spike and bought the dip, and I would have been, um, made a, probably another 150 pips, so um, that's something I need to be working on my entry point because I've given away 150 pips now, so I'm in minus 17 when I could have been up a good a good bit, maybe 100 and something pips here. Yeah, so, but either way, I feel like the 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 pattern's still gonna go is going in my direction. As you can see, the 180 day simple moving average on the 15 minute, on the 10 minute chart is concurving downwards, which is good. Um, so yeah, so STNG, that's that's I'm sure in it. Hopefully, it'll get down down to about 15 dollars. And I'm holding that position um, to to sit and in. I'm holding that position in the hopes that it's going to get there in a, maybe a week's time, but we'll see. I've got two pick of the weeks this week, and my second one is Micron Technology. Now, on the daily chart, Micron Technology has been rallying downwards for a couple of months, as as we all know from October to January, every, all the stocks were pretty much free falling. But um, and it started uh, rising again in price around December. But I feel like it's hit its peak, and the reason why I feel that is because the 180-day simple moving average on the daily chart once again it's a it's a good tell sign for where overall price is moving in the long run, and it's been it was, it was a support up until this point, and now it's concurving downwards. And I feel like this 180-day simple moving average on the daily chart will act as a resistance. So now that it's hit it, I feel like it's going to start aggressively falling down. Another thing to note is that if you add a Fibonacci retracement to the lowest point until about here, so this is about $58, 
which was an old peak, you can see that the 50% point is exactly where we're at at the moment, which which intersects both with the 188 simple moving average and the um, and the peak of its latest, latest rally, which is quite telling. Now, if you go into the four hour chart, you can see that it was, it was making an um, ascending channel pattern uh, for quite some time. So this is a pattern I kind of missed and I should have, I could have capitalized on it if I had noticed it at the time, but oh well. Now, it's, look at, if you can see the latest movement, it's kind of lost momentum. I think what I can do here is um, I'd add um, the volume chart. Uh, it'll be interesting to see the volume chart here. So yeah, the volume chart doesn't really tell me much. Uh, maybe, it's, but um, yeah, I feel like it's gonna start making it. It's gonna st it's losing momentum and it's gonna start falling downwards soon. So um, I'm waiting for it to break out here come back consolidate and then carry on making loads and that would be the point to, to enter a short trade but as you can see right now it looks like it's about to break the the support line of the of the ascending channel pattern when it does that i think uh that will be all the confirmation i need to to make a short trade so yeah my pick of the week for this week is mu and uh stng but stng is the one i'm currently trading as as always i'm going to show you my um stock pick watch list where I update on all of my pick of the weeks. So these are all my pick of the weeks from um, from Jan from this from January onwards. As you can see here, I, I started off well. I may have had a little bit of a oopsie here, and now hopefully I'll I'll redeem myself with a Scorpio. MU is another one that I think will be very important. If any of you if any of you guys are going to trade it, let me know in the comment section below. And we'll see where um, we'll see where Sting gets us in the coming days. Uh, Knock Trader signing out.